Hey, do that is the start streaming button. Everything should be golden. Tag my Discord. No way. No way. We got Manned 2K and Budget Biker 7 saying stream. What is going on? Is everything. What is going on? What is going on? Oh. Oh. Is everything. What is. Okay. The audio seemed like it was fucked there for a little bit. Okay, apologies for any audio issues, but I think... Oh, f why is my stream still on? Okay. Lots of, lots of scuffed things so far on the stream, but how is everybody doing? That'll happen? Yeah, my OBS has just been not kind to me since its recent update, which is just insane. Um, but how's everybody doing? It is the first stream in a while, as you guys can see. I'm a bit rusty with my technique, but uh, I feel like everything's going to be good for the remainder of the stream. So you've been playing Valorant. I have been playing a bit of the E8 TAC FPS. Um, I keep having to buy new Iron accounts, though, because it's just so easy to get banned on that game. Um, so I'm not really, like, too deep into it. More of the, uh... yeah, I don't know can't quite get into Valorant. Set up Sunday tomorrow? Um, probably not, because I'm going to a Mets game in the afternoon, so that coincides right with the set up Sunday time. But uh, next week, and I've never like streamed two days in a row, so the answer is realistically no. Anyways, um, just got banned on Valorant today, lost six months. Yeah, on my main account, which I only have like maybe $100 worth of skins on, my next ban's going to be like three months, so I just, I'm very chill on that account. <laughs> you got banned from Val? Yeah. Got, it's okay though because iron accounts are seven dollars um ranking for best shaving blade i mean you got to go with manscaped and use code boardsy um unironically even hi from hungary yo shout out to hungary how's everything going there he's to know a hungarian they moved though don't know where they moved done with valor what game did you move on to though because games are kind of dry just like mice mice are kind of dry is everything is everything drying up I'm switching to Overwatch. Oof. I don't, see, I don't think I have that in me, but that's an, that is interesting. That's another option. What pad is that? This is called the Freefall something. Um, it has a unique like silicone base. In terms of the surface, it's like kind of similar to a Aqua Control 2, um, but it's definitely a pad that plays interesting. Um, not really too fast. Still has a good bit of control and a very like firm base. Hold on, I'll bust out. A lighter test, you can see like it has absolutely no plushiness to it. So I'm gonna include that in a mouse pad roundup at some point. But man, mouse pads are fucking boring nowadays. Um, Tiger Ice V2, um, like new Tiger Ice skates, or like the ones that have been around forever. I didn't even know they updated them. But I'll I'll ask Lethal Gaming Gear to send out whatever the newest newest uh, tech is in mouse skates. Boardsy Live, what? Yeah, I know it's been a while. It's literally been like a month. I think this might be my first stream on the new PC. Which is probably why the audio was fucked at the beginning, but uh, yeah, awesome. I, I want to. My goal is to stream every day, but it seems like that never, never happens. Don't air, please. What do you prefer, Razer Atlas or Skypad 3.0? Okay, I'll answer it, but the description does state that specific mousepad questions cost five dollars to get an answer. Um, that is half trolling, but yeah, Skypad 3.0 easy. I really hated the Razer Atlas. Um, I don't know what about that pad kind of commands the $100 price tag. I heard it had a coating that wears off, but I just don't even know. Did you build your new PC? Nah, I got it built at Micro Center because I was just going through hell on my old build, um, trying to get it fixed, so I just went to Micro Center and they like built it, had it ready the next day. It was actually surprisingly reasonable. Um, thoughts on the Endgame Gear OP1? Is that the new shape? I can uh, pull that up probably from Endgame Gear. Did they tweet about it on their official account? Yes, I will uh, find out right now. No, I don't think they have, which makes it unfortunate. Can somebody like link it? Show us your Heian from three years ago? Man, I would have to go in a, go in a, go deep into a mouse pad stack to find that. Hold on, Elo Shapes. I'm gonna give you a moderator. Standard moderator. Should have it now. Um, how is the clicks demon mode mousepad? What the fuck is that, man? Is that like a new clicks collab thing? I seriously have no idea, unfortunately. 
Um, I'm still upset about how expensive the Viper Mini wireless is. The original Viper Mini was my first and favorite mouse. Well, you just gotta wait out until the summer, and at this point, that's like, it's probably less than a few months away, realistically. I don't have any inside info, but they've said on Reddit that the summer seems like a time, so expect one. Yeah, with Matrix, it looks cool. Okay, then it's probably just gonna be like, performance-wise, the same as the other Matrix pads, which really isn't anything special, but it will be Clicks. So if you're enough of a Clicks fan, um, I guess maybe it'll be an option for you. I know you're here. What What is up, man? Oh, that's an interesting comment to leave. How are the clicks of the Dragonfly F1 Pro Max? They're really good, honestly. You can see there's like a bit of wobble, but it's really nothing serious. They are Kill 8.0s, I believe. On the website, it says Kill 2.0 and Kill 8.0, but I believe they feel like Kill 8.0s. Um, and yeah, they're just really good. They're a bit on the heavier side, like not the lightest clicks, but totally spammable. The latency doesn't feel bad. I was extremely surprised because just this mouse in general for like $56 or whatever it is, is fucking ridiculously good. Do you have a main mouse? Um, in the description of the stream, I put a link to Death Adder V3 because that's definitely what I gravitate towards the most and the Viper Mini Signature Edition, but that mouse is a lot less attainable. And yeah, Death Adder V3 is really my main recommendation right now in the way that the Super Light was in like 2020, 2021. Can't ban people I disagree with. No, of course. Is Colorware a scam website? Is that like the uh, custom mouse color? I, If you want a paint job from them, I don't fucking know. But I would just go with Nacho. Maybe that will be a bit more expensive, though. You need to try out the Wired HyperX Full Starter Haste 2? Yeah, I still do. I have not gotten that. But I did see a leak at a Confutex, I believe, that Cooler Master is releasing a Wired 8K... MM712 or something, I don't know what they're going to call it, but um, yeah, I'm going to take a look at a lot of the companies who are putting out 8K versions of their wired mice and then make a video about like budget performance mice or something like that, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to review the uh, wired Pulsar Haze 2 individually. What makes the Death Hour V3 good? I mean, I would recommend just watching my original review of it for the most in-depth answer, but really it's just, it checks every single box you can need and... It's a pretty large ergo shape, which is not what I generally like, but since it works for me, it's kind of perfect. What do you think about the Pulsar X2 and X2 Mini Clear? I actually have one. Um, I should go look for it and pull it out. It was, it, since it's a translucent shell, I literally haven't even plugged it in, but I just felt it and it was a bit creaky, which is something that happened on the translucent MZ1, um, happened on the translucent G-Wolves mice, so... I really just don't think that like plastic is good, but I haven't seen other reviewers complain about it. So maybe I just got a bad unit, um, but yeah, on my unit there was a bit of creaking and I just didn't even bother plugging it in. Nice mouse pad, thank you. Very, very interesting stuff. Tried to pull out something, because I've just been using a black Zero X soft. I'm like, I gotta pull out something a bit more interesting than that. Death Air V3 wired is worth, or should I go for the Pro? If you're on a budget of any kind and don't mind a wired mouse, get the Death Air V3 wired all day. But if you're somebody who wants like premium wireless, want to get the 4K dongle as well, then just get the wireless version. Pretty, pretty based. I have a no-named mouse pad called NOS. Are unknown brands a lot worse? Most likely, yeah. Um, never seen. I've seen very few hidden gem no-name mouse pad brands. What is the best gaming keyboard right now? The Wooting 60 HE, that's what I have. I threw it in a Blade 60 case, and it's basically a custom keyboard experience, but with the PCB of the best gaming keyboard. Apex Pro Mini's really good, though. And I've seen um, a few Japanese, or just in general, Hall Effect keyboards have started to pop up. I'm going to try to find the uh, link to the Japanese keyboard. I'm sure a few people will know what I'm talking about and show it off. Oh, yeah, here it is. Wow, that took me... Took me no time to find. Um, you should see. Oh, never mind. The tweet got fucking deleted. That is uh, unfortunate. So much copy paste spam. Yeah, people really want their questions asked. Um, but you know, such is life. More things change. More they stay the same. Zen aim. Yeah, it is the Zen aim keyboard. Thank you, upgrade lemonade. What's your main mouse pad for gaming? Um, it's been the Artisan Zero recently. I mean, it's like just come back to what works and just other Artisan pads. I have been artisan pilled for better part of a year now, along with the Saturn Pro. Is glass mouse pad worth it? I mean, it can be. I would recommend watching my videos, um, seeing what I have to say about them, because I've reviewed a lot of them now. 
super light is overrated as hell. It's that's just wrong, but it's an it's an okay opinion to have. Maybe you like another mouse a lot. Thoughts on the new Final Mouse? 38 grams or whatever sounds too light. What's the point? I mean, Final Mouse has always innovated by going lighter than what the standard is. And 38 grams, I mean, honestly, the what does the G-Wolves HTX weigh? It's, like, kind of close to that. So, I mean, they they have the carbon glass mouse. If it's high quality and 38 grams, I just feel like that's nice. Thoughts on glass mouse heads for tack shooters like Valence? Yes, I don't see as much of a purpose for that. I feel like cloth pads are just very much so tried and true in those games so just why not stick to what works um, but you can totally make a glass pad work in any game presuming you have good enough mouse control but i just can't really think of many advantages um mm712 worth it to upgrade from a 711 yeah jewels plastic with holes is like 37 grams yeah i mean it'll, it'll say on the website i could check it but i'm lazy and would like other people to do that for me. How's the new setting on the PG27 AQN? Dude, it worked perfectly until I restarted my PC and then I got the issue that other people have where whenever I tab out, it goes away and goes back on like just the standard monitor mode. So it's really annoying and I was not able to find a fix for that immediately, so I just like took it off for now. Um, I was contemplating making a video complaining, but yeah, I just didn't know if there was like a common fix I wasn't aware of. Will you do more retro mouse reviews like that one Will Optical Mask? Honestly, I get asked that every stream. I say I will, but I just never go out and look for retro mice. Like, hold on, let me make a list right now in Notepad. Um, so put whatever retro mouse reviews you want to see, and I will just copy them into this Notepad and then check them out after the stream. I feel like. How is the VGN for fingertip? It's really good. Um, as you can see, it's not a super like high profile back, so there's no issues with that. Um, it's a pretty thin mouse in general, especially at the grip width, so it really works um, well for fingertip. The button height is not the lowest, but everything's fine with it. What are the Fortnite low input delay secrets? Honestly, I don't know. Yo, Mirrored, thank you for the one Australian dollar. Have you gone to try a Serapad Kin? Yeah, I reviewed that a while ago. Um, I know this is old, but have you seen Optimum Text 25 gram custom wireless mouse? Yeah, I did. It just looks like a standard... Um, fingertip grip mouse. I mean, but if he likes it, he likes it. That is his mouse. Is Pulsar ever releasing your mouse again? Uh, likely not in the, like definitely not for the standard X2, because I think they're seizing production on that. So I don't think they're going to do the limited versions like in the future. Does that make sense? Um, does the Death V3 Pro have a good coating? The Faker edition does, but the standard version is a bit chalky and a hit or miss for some people. Whoever's spamming the 100 emojis, I see those, and I appreciate it. Keep it up. Um, IntelliMouse Optical 1.1a, okay. Um, what games are you playing now? Honestly, I'm playing more Kovacs and Valorant than Fortnite, which I just did not think, did not think that was possible. Um, but Fortnite has just been going so downhill, it's like Epic is actually trying to kill the game. They have some land going on right now, but I just don't care. Do you still think the GSR sucks? Yes, I do. Logitech MX, okay, I'm going to copy that one down as well. I've got like three mice so far, so surely one of these I'll end up copying. God, this is going to be another one of those streams where I just need to drink like a gallon of water or else my throat dies. What mouse are you baiting for Val? Um, Death Eye V3 and Viper May Signature, really depending on the mood. People are spamming rank. I, I just keep buying new iron accounts and playing with e-girls. So I'm, I'm not in Valorant for the same reason that you guys are. Um, <laughs> is Ceramic Feet and Glorious Helios okay for Fort? No, that, that just sounds really garbage. That's like, uh, it's like maybe three years ago, I'd be like, that seems cool to experiment with, but no, we've realized that that's just not the move. Um, why do so many Fortnite pros use inked gaming mouse pads? I think because they have a custom design and they know that they're going to be replacing them a lot, so they just use it while it lasts. Um, my Pulsar X2 has a scroll wheel issue. Um, Pulsar isn't taking any responsibility since I bought it from a friend. Well, can't you have the friend, like? If it's unmodified, I think your friend would still be able to, like, get some support on the mouse. 
Um, I'm surprised you tried Valorant, given while it's messier than CS, it's much slower. Yeah, but I only play Swift Play and Spike Rush, so it's like I fix that as well. It would be cool if they had a shorter comp mode as well. Then they would really have me sold on the game. Um, how different is the Lamzu Atlantis from the XM2 Wii? Uh, I would recommend watching my XM2 Wii review because I compare them like hands-on and pretty in-depth in both of those. Play Escalation? I, that, that's on CS, right? I, I remember playing that a few years ago, I believe. Can't wait for CS2? Yeah, I'll definitely get into it then. Um, although maybe it would be worth getting into a few months beforehand. Well, with Franz, Jay. It's a big goal of mine. Viper Mini signature price tag is crazy. It really is. What mouse is currently in your hand? See a Dragonfly F1 Pro Max. I was struggling on the name for a bit. From a Chinese company called VGN, which I had not heard of, but people were begging me to get this mouse, and it definitely is a hit. One thing that's to note is that the stock, like Zowie style skates, suck, but they provide additional ones in the box. Escalation on Valorant? Oh, what am I thinking of in CS then? It was like a 2v2 mode on like weird maps. What's your mouse grip? It really depends. Either claw or fingertip, some type of hybrid. Um, generally not palm grip though. Death Adder V3 versus Mini versus V2. Competitively. I mean, there's really no, like, I can't tell you the objective competitive difference when it's going to come down to shapes and hand sizes. It's just like, whatever one you prefer the most is probably going to be the best for you competitively. Um, LGG Saturn Pro V2. Um, Lethal said they'll be getting me a unit of that whenever it's ready, which I believe will be before... Like, they'll have some units before they actually, like, pre-order ship out. So, I'm looking forward to that, obviously. HTX versus Mini Signature Edition? I mean, I would take the Viper Mini Signature Edition any day of the week, but it's not a, it's not really as attainable as the HTX is. Is the Viper Mini Signature Edition coding getting better with time? It doesn't feel grippy enough for me. Um, yeah, I've kind of just come around to it. And I don't know if having the so spacer grips affects it, but it's like the only mouse I've actually left these grips on. And I don't know why. I could definitely take them off and still like use the mouse, but I just don't see any reason to. They're kind of like holding me hostage. Are you enjoying that mouse pad? Not especially. Like not more than an artisan pad. Not more than like a standard thirty dollar like pad with a rubber base. It just feels all right. I'm not a big fan of like how slow or how controlled and firm it is. And it is really fucking firm and thin. The base is good though. Pulsar X2 Bruce Lee or Razer V3 Death Hour Faker Edition? I would say Death Hour Faker Edition. Um, you could also get a different version of the Pulsar X2, but it really depends on what shape's going to work better. Lamzu Lance OG for 40 euro. Worth it or not? I mean, if you're looking for a claw grip mouse, you haven't tried it? I mean, $40, not a bad price. Mouse pad tier list when? I don't know. Like, what would a mouse pad tier list even be? How many pads would that have? It would have to have, like, over 150 pads or something. How long are you guys willing to listen to me talk about mouse pads when half of them are the same fucking thing? It's like, I, I'm really in a predicament when it comes to making, like, a top mouse pad video. Maybe I'll just make, like, a top 10 list? But yeah, tier list just seems like. Ay, 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 caramba. Can you show Death Air V3 wireless? Here it is, man, in all of its glory. The Faker Edition. Keep using grip control on my super light. Should I went to Lamzu Mini? Um, do you have a Lamzu Mini? Or I don't get what you're saying. Should I went to is insane English. Um, I don't know if you should get a Lamzu Mini for that reason. When is the Poland Spring sponsor co coming? I've kind of lost hope. Um, they do have offices in New York, I believe. So. Last ditch effort is just literally fucking going there and not leaving until I get a sponsorship, which maybe it'll happen. Honestly, just getting Artisan Zero, no reason to get anything else. That's what I've been preaching for, like, since around this time in 2020, honestly. Um, and so many people have still yet to listen, but I don't know. Everybody generally comes around. How slow is the Artisan Zero? Really not slow by any means. The dono wall is surreal. What are you talking about? I've gotten like three Australian dollars so far this stream. I'm just, there are a ton of chat messages and I cannot read all of them. Sometimes I'll like, 
go past one with my eyes if I'm like, huh, this probably isn't worth responding to. Um, you think Superlight V2 is coming soon? I don't know, man. Logitech is just going to keep trolling about that as long as they can. I don't think they're ever going to stop. Um, Energon versus Ubbo, which is better? I'd say the Energon, but if you're looking for a texture pad, obviously go with the Ubbo. Um, do you notice the difference between 4K and 1K in Valorant? Yeah, totally. Like, Valorant has maybe the best mouse put input out of any game. And it's also one of the only games that I can run 8K in. Like, my 8K polling is more consistent in Valorant than Kovacs. I just don't understand how that makes sense. Your AU? No. Um, but you can donate whatever currency you want. Yeah, the guy who donated, donated Australian dollars. Um... Best mouse pad, like, $30? There, there are so many around the $30 price point. Standard Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn, GameSense Radar, anything from Entry Pad. Yo, Pokey Kaza with the four Australian dollars. Sheesh. Going to be able to afford a... Wow, I can't think of, like, one Australian export. I, I was going to say kangaroo. I don't know how much a kangaroo costs. Oh, man, is there really, like, anything going on in Australian culture? Um, yo, peace out, chill. Um, best fingertip grip mouse. Uh, for me, it's the Viper Mini Signature Edition, but if you're looking for a kind of affordable one, I would say X2 Mini. It's a good option, but honestly, the VGN F1 Pro Max, this, might, this mouse might have to be in, a, might have to be on people's radars. Tim Tam. See, honestly, I have no idea what that is. I'm going to search that up right now. Jesus, just got fucking flashbang by my monitor. Um, which more companies focus on optimization, like Overwatch and Valve? Yeah, but when you think about like those, like are those games are made by giants, so it seems like maybe it takes a lot of resources to optimize a game to that extent, or maybe I'm just like have Stockholm syndrome with Fortnite being so shit. How have you not tried Tim Tams from AU yet? Ha ha! Can any Americans in the chat let me know if you've heard of Tim Tams? That's crazy to me. You still rocking a Jeep Rock Super Light? Honestly, not as much. These past few months, it has not been in my rotation like it once had. But I do have these uh, updated, like a new batch of Pulsar Super Glide skates. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a different, it's a bit more matte of a surface. And I'm going to make a video on those at some point. But yeah, that's really the only reason I've been using a Super Light. The Fortnite falloff needs to be studied. There needs to be a documentary. We need to find out if it's, like, on purpose or not. Because I've experienced it firsthand, and it's, like, traumatizing. Razor Orochi V2 or Death Hour V3 Wired? I would say Death Hour V3 Wired, no doubt. Unless you want a mouse, like, you can bring on the go and is wireless. Have you tried the X-Lite V3? What's your impression? I have tried it, and it seems like a very promising ergo. I'm just looking forward to trying a uh, finalized version, like, with the minor adjustments that I can actually review. Yo, Mem, with four US dollars and 99 cents, I greatly appreciate that. Damn, everybody's one-upping each other. Had them in Canada and Indonesia? Blessed chocolate. Oh, it's a chocolate. I had no idea. Maybe I'll uh, check it out. Would you suggest any rubberized coating gaming mouse if a normal coating is okay enough? I, I just don't even understand the question. Like, you generally don't buy a mouse for a coating alone. Like, having a good coding is just, like, a plus to a mouse. What's your Fortnite rank? Um, I think I got to Diamond, then stopped playing, and I placed in, like, Plat 2 or something, so I just did not play much of it, and I was like, wow, this might be the nail in the coffin for good old Fortnite. Um, the unofficial official boardsy Minecraft SMP is where the gaming scene is at. Is there a Minecraft server? Like, people in my Discord, when I went in there, were, uh, like, talking about that, but I didn't know if it was actually real. Uh, how is the Pro Max quality-wise? It's very good, surprisingly. Like, when I first squeezed it, like, there was a little bit of flexing and creaking, but it seriously feels solid in hand. Um, there's a little bit of wobble on mouse one, but, again, nothing serious. Scroll, scroll wheel feels fine. It's just all around built well. This is one of the most surprising mice in gaming mice history. <coughs> Jesus. Have you tried the GameSense Sonar glass pad? Um, I have it, but I actually have not unboxed it. I really uh, should, though. We'll probably do that later today. What's the HTX 1K like? What what are, what do you mean? It's just the same as the standard HTX, but only 1K? I believe it has a bit more, or weighs a bit less, a bit more battery life. Some of these questions are just like, I feel like if you just think about it for five seconds, you could get an answer. Um, have you tried the Lamzu Thor? No, I have um, no idea what's going on with Lamzu's mice. It seems like uh, they're a little bit delayed. 
What games do you play? Damn, I already answered that a few times. I'd say main rotation right now is Kovacs, Valorant, and Fortnite. Is that China Mouse? It is a China Mouse. You can see in terms of, like, design philosophy, it's a fucking GPX. Um, Shape-wise, though, it's really not a GPX. It's its own thing. Um, but, yeah, review on this coming soon. I feel like this is... It's going to be a review you don't want to miss, which not said in a while. How's Rex holding up? He is doing excellent. He's perfect. Took him to the vet, they were like, they've never seen such a perfect dog. Um, but yeah, he's just doing well, growing, maturing. Have you watched the Russian video about the Thorn? I actually have not. Um, you should send that in my Discord, and I'll take a look at it. Is Razor planning on a mass market Viper Mini? Yeah, they hinted at it toward in the summer on Reddit, so gotta keep waiting. You never play Apex? I've tried to get into it like seven times now. Um, I tried to get into it most recently, probably like six six-ish months ago, but it's just not it. When Rocket Jump Ninja was making his video shilling it, I was like, okay, if Rocket Jump Ninja likes it, surely I can like it, but I was just uh, pretty addicted to Fortnite when it came to BRs, and Apex just is not the same. We ask dumb questions. Some people do. Um, some people ask very thought-provoking questions. Some people ask not thought-provoking questions, but you know, it all averages out to a Lovely experience. Does the 8K or 4K dongle make any difference in terms of aim feel and Kovacs? Um, yeah, I'd say 4K to 1K, you're going to be able to feel a pretty big difference, especially in something like Kovacs, where, like, mouse movement is, like, the only thing you're focusing on. Um, but 8K, on my system at least, does has some jitters in Kovacs, so I usually just only run on 4K, which is weird. Um, what are those pills on your table? This is caffeine, and the other one is a stamp. And I have, like, some vitamin D over there. That's, like, off camera. What is the meaning of life? Is that a better question? Um, just find the perfect gaming mouse. And nobody has ever been able to do that, hence why life goes on. Like in the comments below, please review AJ199. I mean, honestly, like, if Mechkey sends me it, I'll take a look at it. Same thing with the Zalpin mouse or whatever. Getting a new mouse, should I get the Ninjutsu Sora or the Lambsu Atlantis? Is the weight difference a decision factor? I mean, the Sora is lighter, but the standard Atlantis is also a lot larger, so it kind of comes down to size. I would just focus on shape because those mice, it's pretty much a toss up you're going to like either. 4K actually makes a difference. You can notice the precision. You can just absolutely notice a difference in terms of mouse input from 1K to 4K. Assuming you have a good enough monitor and system. Um, what have you eaten today? Um, just some eggs for breakfast and iced coffee. Very uh, standard day so far. Going to a cookout later. Um, how long have I been streaming? Only 30 minutes. So still, still got a lot of streaming left. Do you have a code for Lamzu? I don't. Um, it's kind of annoying when companies will, like, they'll have affiliate links, but they won't have codes. Like, codes are the the key. Everybody wants to use code boardsy everywhere. When will Zankuning M3K come out? I don't know. They have the uh, M2S coming out first. You can go to their website, zankunig.co, and, like, they have their little announcement that you can sign up to our newsletter if you actually want announcements from them. Maybe we reach endgame after we die? Maybe. Nobody knows. Came first, the chicken or the egg? I had a science teacher in high school who got really mad when somebody answered that question. I don't know what there was, a, or when somebody asked that question, rather. Um, Boardsy, my brother. Yo, Nick Ames, how's it going, man? It's been a while. How's uh, everything going with you? Doesn't 4K cause FPS issues on some systems? I mean, depending on the game you're running, it can definitely cause some stutters, like maybe in Apex or Fortnite, like late games, but... Um, generally 4K wireless has been safe for me. 8K is where it becomes an issue. What's your opinion on the Pwnage Jambi wireless? Uh, too heavy, just not good enough. The Pwnage Stormbreaker seems interesting, though. It's the mouse. The mouse came before the chicken. Did it? How, how old are mice, um, just when it comes to, like, existing as an animal? Are they one of the older mammals? Need to know. Drilling holes for lightening mice. What do you think? Um, that's kind of what Bearded Bob's entire existence is. I don't think it's necessary. I think you're better off just learning how to use the mouse at its stock weight than drilling holes into it. But, um, you know, it's your life. You're your own ruler. 
surely you have an exfoliate v3 secretly somewhere yeah i've i've shown it off before um but it was just collecting dust on my desk so i cleaned it off and put it away what mouse is he holding the vgn dragonfly f1 pro max which is a fucking name but it's a chinese mouse that i'm gonna review soon it's only 57 dollars for a 33.95 sensor it's like 54 grams it literally has no flaws that i can notice like even the latency feels good on it which is noticeably different compared to uh, most chinese mice so yeah definitely one that a lot of people are going to want to check out if you're looking for a budget mouse are you hyped about a 32 gram final mouse yeah i'm very excited for the new final mice they have three sizes as well the cheetah lion and tiger it's very based i don't know why the lion's not the biggest one um seems like an oversight i don't care about the actual animal sizes but such is life um gsrc rouge good for val yeah totally i mean i've noticed that a lot of control pads just seem best for val yo lou tor with the ten dollar donation what is the mouse pad you always go back to and what is your valorant rank um mouse pad i always go back to it has to be the artisan zero x soft like it's kind of bad that and the saturn pro those are my mouse pads like i used to really like the hean when i was looking for a more textured pad but something changed i just prefer like really nice um x soft cloth pads like that and rank and valorant as i said before i'm generally just buying iron accounts and just playing with e-girls so um i don't know i need to now that I'm unbanned on my main, I need to actually play out my placements. See where I wind up. Control pads are always good for tack shooters, basically zero tracking. Yeah, I mean, I get asked a lot, like, are glass pads good for tack shooters? I'm like, I'm sure you could make it work, but I just don't know, like, why you would put yourself through that when every, like, when you can just use a cloth pad. It seems like extra steps. Rog Harp Ace? Just saying the mouse's name in the chat, I, I don't know if you want an opinion, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I just have not touched it very much. I actually picked it up one time because some guy in my comments was like, why are you hating on Asus? This mouse is insane. Like, I don't know if that guy had, like, affiliation with Asus, but I, I, like, gave it a try and I was like, man, I, I just still don't see it. Um, do you have a girlfriend? No, not at the moment, but things can change in a matter of time. You slaying baddies. Um, answer to that question, not the same as the first one. Thoughts on laptop gamers? Surprising amount of them. Like, it's actually weird how many people, like, submit laptop setups when I do Setup Sunday. Um, but I, I've, like, never... I never imagined myself being a laptop gamer. But I guess if you're on the go a lot, or if you just want a laptop, it's awesome. Have a nice flight with the $5. What is the fastest glass pad? Sky pad... Razer, Atlas, Pulsar 1, etc. Um, it has to be, in my experience, just the standard Skypad 3.0. Um, but it's really a toss-up. Pulsar Super Glide is very similar. Um, and Razer Atlas, in my opinion, experience was a different. Compared to the GPX, how small is the Lamsu Mini? Damn, do I really not have the Lamsu Mini on my desk? I was gonna do a, a comparison, but it's a lot smaller. It's a lot less like there's just less mouse towards the back to fill out your hand. I had a guy foaming at the mouth that Asus software is actually the best from any company. Yeah, no, the Asus lovers are very adamant about um, their, their mice, or just products in general. They have, like, whole Asus setups. Have you seen the updated 4K M712? Yeah, and the 8K wired one? That seems pretty cool, honestly. Um, future of mice if sensors are maxed out? I don't know. Um, <laughs> there will be some trend that catches on. Well, it seems like the market's in a bit of a dry spell, but I don't think, I just think that's because companies are working on stuff more so than companies like don't know what to release. Asus is trash in terms of peripherals. I don't know if they're trash. Um, their monitor, like PG27 AQN is the best I've ever tried. Their keyboards and mice, like I don't know if they have anything that's truly above average. And for a company that seems to have like such a massive R&D apartment, you would expect them to like hit on a few more products, but just my my two cents no cap board the x2 is the most comfortable mouse i have and i have 11 happy to hear that yeah i mean i really felt that the uh board the x2 was a lot better in terms of click feel and coding than the original which really just uh, elevates the mouse 
Um, did you try ULMB2 on the new AQN firmware? I did, and I, it was working perfectly after I did the firmware update. It was feeling nice, but then the next day after I restarted my PC, I ran into an issue that a lot of people are seeming to get, um, where whenever you tab out, the ULMB goes away, and you have to like turn it back on every time you tab in, and that's just way too much of a hassle. So, yeah, I don't know how to fix that, but whenever I do, I'll probably use it a bit more. Or, like, use it forever, ideally. It does dim the screen, but it's not to the point you can't really see it. Does your board ZX2 have any issues? Mine does. Um, I've opened up, like, four of them, and the only issue one of them had was, like, an over-lubed scroll wheel. But other than that, they were pretty sharp. Board ZX2 is missing RGB. True. Mouse needs a lot more RGB. Is the Asus ULMB better than Zowie's Dayak? Um, I actually have not tried Dayak. I would recommend watching Bad Seed and Optimum Text videos because they compare it to Dayak. It seems around the same um, from what I saw in those videos. But I mean, I'm sure the Zowie people are going to say Dayak's still like 20 times better. What are your hand measurements? They're around like 21 by 11, 20 and a half by 10 and a half. Um, wh which was dimmer LG OLED? Or, yeah, I believe it was the LG OLED, just going based off memory. Um, but I honestly have not used the Asus with ULMB for a lot of time. And if anybody else has that uh, tabbing out issue on the monitor, let me know. Because I know a few people in my chat probably have the monitor. Opinion on drag. <laughs> what do you mean? Like mouse drag or like drag queens? It's crazy. I'm going to lose my Artisan V card. The hype finally got me. Let's go, man. That is... That's what I like to hear. What? Have a nice flight with another... Fiverr. Um, why did you return the OG, the OLED monitor? Rog made an updated version of it, and also opinions on the Artisan Zero. Um, why did I return the OLED? Because I just didn't like it. 240 hertz after using 360 hertz for so long, it just felt like shit. Uh, the motion clarity wasn't there, which was weird because everybody said that like OLED motion clarity was basically perfect, and it's like yeah, it had low response times, but beyond that, um, it just was not impressive. I just like dropped my mouse and it fucked up. Lost where I was. Um, what was the other question? Um, opinions on the Arsene Zero. I mean, I think it's like the b best cloth mouse head of all time. I've talked about it a lot, and it's just uh, only good things to say. Opiwop, what is up, man? How tall are you? I am a six foot one. I don't know if I've grown since the last time I said I was six foot one. I feel around the same height. I don't know if I'm done growing. I'm like 20 and a half. Maybe I'll have a quarter, half an inch more, but yeah, six one. Asus announced a 540 hertz TN trying to copy Dayak. Yeah, I mean, 500 plus refresh rate's kind of crazy. Boardsy Fest greater than London? Or do you mean Boardsy Fest should be in London? Um, I don't know. I feel like if I were to ever, like, go to Europe, it wouldn't be the UK because they're not in the EU and that would just make getting shit so much harder. But I'm sure I have many UK fans, so I might have to, you know, host Boardsy Fest in Wembley. Who knows? Um, come to London. Let's go, the Londoners. Uh, any thoughts on you moving into audio content? I doubt it. I mean, headphones, I am probably going to get, what's it called? The DT990? Fuck, whatever the new DT990s are, whatever it's called. 900 Pro X, maybe? I'm just going to get those and then call it a day with headphones. IEMs as a whole are just weird as fuck. I, like, even just looking at the website, I don't know why there's, like, cartoon porn on, like, anime or on <laughs> IEM boxes. It's just so weird. Come to Dubai, not London. See, I don't, I don't know if there's enough uh, really interest or need for free products in Dubai. What's what's name this blue mouse pad? It's called the Freefall something. I'm not sure exactly what comes after Freefall, but it's the Freefall mouse pad. It's got a silicone back surface. It is kind of similar to like an Aqua Control Plus. Who knows? Who needs headphones when you have the board SMP? I might have to join this. You guys are getting me hyped about the uh, Minecraft server that may or may not exist. Um, it's a selling point. Is it really? Like, I just don't understand why it's on, like, all of the boxes. It's like, do people display the boxes? It's just crazy to me. And, like, when it's actually on the IEM design as well, I that is actually, like, something that wows me. Um, 
whole time I thought it was a Razor logo on the mouse head. No, nah, it's a uh, free fall. Damn, they do have like kind of snakes or dragons or something. Yo, Sean with the five dollars, eighteen point five by eleven hands, relaxed claw thoughts on Death Hour V3 Pro or best mice for me. Any mouse feet Rex to pair with the Saturn Pro? Um, I would say Death Hour V3 Pro could totally work if you are used to and want something lower. You could get a Viper V2 Pro, but presuming you don't have any budget issues, those are really without a doubt my top recommendations. And mouse feet. Tiger Ice, BTL skates, really a toss-up. Any of those are going to be good. Even the stock skates are fine. Like, that's what I've been using. Um, but yeah, those seem like solid mice for you. AK Wire, Dave is amazing. Happy to hear that. XM2 Wii Goaded Mouse. It's good. It's definitely a solid mouse, especially for the price. High quality. Not really going to be any performance issues. Just tuned in, did you talk about the Dragonfly already? Yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty high on it. Um, I'm gonna, the review will be posted early next week, so. I'm not gonna spend this whole stream, like, basically reviewing it, but compared to other Chinese mice, there's really no weak point, even, like, considering performance and, like, latency, as far as I can tell. Um, any predictions for the M3K? Um, I don't know if they're going to go wireless or not. I kind of feel like they have to since a big complaint is the wire. But it seems like they also don't care about what people complain about. Um, wake up, you're dreaming this live stream isn't real and the mouse switches are under your skin. That would be weird, having mouse switches in your skin. Interesting thought. Everyone, this mouse is called the Freefall SV. This guy knows his shit. That is definitely what it's called. Is the Dharma Shark M3 really that good? Um, the clicks on my unit were pretty shit, but yeah, I still feel pretty much the same as I did when I reviewed it. Very surprising. Are you a Mets fan? Yeah, I am. How, how can you tell? Do I just give off Mets fan vibe? Or do I have, like, Mets memorabilia? I don't know. But yeah, I've been a Mets fan all my life. Would you say it's worth getting used to a Death Hour V3 coming from EC2, even though I feel it's a bit too big? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the same thing. Like, you'll be able to get used to it. Not pretty much the same thing, but in terms of shapes, like, it's not a crazy jump. Top 10 mousepad Q1 2023? I'll, I'll make a video, like, top 10 mousepad summer 2023. That actually seems pretty dope. Any IM recommendations for depth perception? I'm the last person to go to for fucking IM recommendations. Are you going to review the Zalpin Z1 Pro? If MechKeys sends it to me. That is, with Chinese mice, if MechKeys sends me it, I'll review it. Death Air V3 Faker doesn't have side flex? Not on my unit. Um, it still has not developed anything. <coughs> Dude, streaming is crazy. I just talk constantly. There's always, like, dust in the back of my throat, so I just have to keep drinking water. That's what they don't tell you about streaming. The unlimited water you have to drink. What chair are you sitting on? A Steelcase Leap V2. I've had it for like, I feel like three years now. I was thinking about getting the Steelcase Think. I saw it was on a massive sale and I was like, I don't need another chair. So I just kept my Leap and still no issues with it. Faker Edition is so much better than Standard. It's crazy. Like whenever these companies like Logitech Razor come out with a slightly updated variant, it's always like a actually a better mouse. But I can't go out and say that. So, uh, controversial. Yo, have a nice flight with another Fiverr. Opinions on the HTX Ace wireless gaming mouse honeycomb, or at least trying it out. Um, I've only tried the non-honeycomb version. I would recommend that. It's, like, only a few grams heavier. It's probably just going to be a bit better, like, built, better quality feeling. But, yeah, HTX Ace. Pretty... This is probably good for you if you're drinking water. I mean, I'm always drinking water. This, it's just like, if I'm not drinking water, I'm just going to cough constantly. And that's just like an interesting predicament. Um, but yeah, the HTX, I would recommend going for the 1K Hertz version probably. Because Jewel's 4K, I don't know if it's necessarily worth like a $50 increase. But you're going to like the mouse if you like low profile mice. Thoughts on Vanser Gretze in 2023? I don't even think that would be on the top 50 mice I recommend, honestly. Uh, do you ever think you will give up on mice? Not until they give up on me. Um, what's that question even mean? Does it look like I'm going to give up on mice? 
Did, will that apply for new color super lights versus default white and black? I mean, it has applied. Um, the pink, the red versions are all better than the white and black, or at least until they, uh, the white and black ones like catch up in production to the new ones, but the new ones always feel fresher. Um, Ninjutsu Sora worth buying? It might be, if you want the shape. Uh, it's affordable, it's cheap, or well, it's light and affordable. It's your favorite alcohol to drink on the weekend? I don't drink, you know, Prohibition happened for a reason. I wish it was still that way, um, but yeah, I'm a big Prohibitionist. Anything better than super light? I had to RMA it four times. Whenever I hear about people having to RMA mice a lot, I, I usually think it's like you're probably fucking up with the mouse, so um, maybe try Death Hour V3. Maybe Razor won't break on you. Why did you choose Zebra for your X2 collab? Because of Zebra Gang, which is something um, a lot of new viewers, I guess, don't know about. But yeah, um, there used to be these paracord cables for wired mice. And you'd get the zebra color. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen like black and white zebra cables. So just expanded that to the mouse and it looks stunning. Um, what's better about Faker over Stock Death Hour V3? Um, the coating for one is like objectively better. It's a more sticky, like kind of rubberized coating. And just things like the clicks, the overall shell quality, just everything feels maybe 5% better, which. I mean, I don't know, it's noticeable for me, and totally worth it. Well, Final Mouse, do you mass production? I mean, that's what they've been teasing, that this mouse is going to have the best availability out of, like, any of their releases. Who knows what that's actually going to mean, like, when the product's going to ship out, but I am interested in uh, reviewing it whenever it's available. Can you front claw the XM2 Wii? I've never heard that term before. Front claw, what does that mean? Your favorite mobile game. I, I do not play mobile games. Um, but I did... I used to play Nugranuts, Subway Surfers, and Jetpack and Joyride. Those were my um, favorite mobile games as a child, I guess. Subway Surfers. Everybody everybody has respect for Subway Surfers. Are they still like pumping out new content on that game? I bet they are. Well, you should have done a meet and greet at I Am Dallas. I didn't even know when that happened. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe start going to more gaming events if there's a reason for me to why didn't you go to i am Dallas? i mean i didn't even know it was happening candy crush no i was never like a 40 year old white mom never got into that one what kind of music do you listen to i mean it's like weird the past few days i've been listening to a lot of shakira um before that I had gotten back into blade um it's just like i don't know why all over the place lebron or jordan um, see, that's a tough question because intuition says LeBron. He's been the like best player in the league the entire time I've watched basketball. But I watched The Last Dance a few weeks ago when I didn't have my PC, and that kind of sold me on Jordan. And it's like, I don't know. It's kind of a toss-up. Um, what's the closest shape to MZ1 for fingertip? Um, I don't know. Nothing's really that close to the MZ1. Maybe like G Wolf's HSK Pro, kind of close in terms of experience. But yeah, I, I'm still gonna go with LeBron to answer that question. Always Jordan champions don't lie. Damn, maybe it's Jordan. I don't know. The Last Dance is quite a good show. Yeah, I gotta wait until they make the equivalent for LeBron to really judge them. What do you recommend for a work from home keyboard? Honestly, I'm just I don't know. Um, like, are you just looking for... I only know gaming keyboards, basically. I'm just, unfortunately, probably not the person to ask that question. Um, I mean, if you are into gaming, you could get Wooting 68G and then also, like, put in a custom case and kind of convert it into a more custom keyboard. But, yeah, I don't fucking know. LeBron or Shakira? Oof. I'll go with LeBron, probably. What part broke in your PC? I don't even know. Like, it's still not even fixed. I kind of just, like, have it on the side now. Why did RJ unblock you? He unblocked me. We are, we're not on good terms, which is surprising. I figured he would eventually come around, but just like my ex, seems like he's not letting up. Uh, best keyboard, booting 60 HE. Yeah, I agree. Been listening to a lot of Kanye for some reason. Yeah, I had that, um, like a, over a year ago, probably like last spring. I was listening to Kanye a lot. Why did he block you? It was just a lot of trolling, honestly. Um, but the, the last straw I remember was like, I made a joke about him misleading about the, uh, Final House Starlight release. 
Is there any mouse that is better in the super light right now? I would say Death Adder V3, um, Viper VG Pro. Those are probably slightly above the super light, but if Logitech ever refreshes the super light, I feel like they'll be back on top of the mouse game. Closest mouse shape to Shakira's hips? That's a really good question. I'm trying to think about that. I don't know. Which mouse has the most flair? Damn, a lot of these mice. Very flat sides, unfortunate. I think Dragonfly F1 Pro Max is winning. You listen to T-Pain? Not a lot recently, but I can see myself listening to T-Pain. You played Fortnite Ranked? Yeah, yeah, I played it for a little bit. I got to a diamond and then stopped because it's boring as fuck. Um, unfortunately. Lewis Hamilton or Max Verstappen? You know, I don't watch um, F1 at all. But I am into sports cards, and Lewis Hamilton's cards are ridiculously priced. So I'm just presuming he's better. So, do you play Hypixel? Nah, I don't play Minecraft at all. Apparently there's a SMP in my server, though. So I, maybe I'll join that. Yo, is this live? It is live. Pug Tato. How's it going? Now? What games do you play? Kovacs, Fortnite, Valorant. In that order, maybe? Maybe a bit more Valorant than Fortnite. But definitely Kovacs the most. Do you guys want to see Kovacs gameplay and reviews? I just like don't even know because I could do that in every video I just feel like it's boring but then again I don't know why I think that because people probably want to see a mouse move at a target I will never understand cemetery fins yeah I don't get it either there was like one song where he sounds like Chief Keef and I was like okay that's a tolerable song but literally everything else is just bad it's insane will you get the Lamzu Thorn before it's released I don't know I should ask Lamzu about it get some get some very cryptic response you are more based now. Lewis Hamilton all the way. Let's go, man. Um, hi, Boardsy. How's your day? Yo, it's going excellently, man. I woke up at like 5 a.m. And now I'm live streaming. Going to a like cookout later today. Everything, Everything's gravy. Crab Champions. I have not played that in a while. That game lost its like, lost its luster in a few days. Cause, probably because it's just like, not a lot of variance. Once you beat the game on Nightmare one time, it's like, ah. Ever thought of making a mouse like RJ? And yeah, it's definitely on the horizon. Um, I don't feel like any urgency to make a mouse right now. Like, I don't have anything that I feel like I could bring to market that is way better than anything else. Boards the Valorant clips and reviews? The Valorant deathmatch clips? Might have to. Um... What is your Valorant rank? I don't really play the game that way. I just uh, buy Iron accounts for $7 on Eldorado and play with e-girls whenever they get manned. I keep getting bored of games every week. Games are in a dry state, but don't give up. Buy that new mouse. Maybe you just need a new mouse. Um, what are your thoughts on Optimum Text Mouse? He made one? It just seems like a tr typical like fingertip grip 3D printed wireless mouse. Um, nothing... I, I don't think it would be endgame for me, but if he enjoys fingertip grip mice, there's really nothing wrong with it. 5 a.m., do you have an alpha male morning routine video when? Yeah, more like I just uh, pa fell asleep at 10 p.m. But, I mean, generally, I never wake up past 7.30 a.m. Like, ever since I got the puppy, it's like, the dog wakes up early, so I gotta wake up early. Did you play Tears of the Kingdom? Now nah, I, I don't even know what that is. Is that the Zelda game? I, I could totally be off. Board ZX, RJN collab, but reviewing a book? If RJN ever streams, tell him I want to uh, collab with him. I don't know if he streams nowadays, though. I saw he made a video. Like, it was so random. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember. It was only a few weeks ago. Like, he made a Death Adder V3 Pro review, and it was just like a total classic RJN vid. But now he's, like, not going to review a mouse for another six months. Hey, did you get the VGN 4K dongle? No, which makes it even more exciting. Like, the mouse is going to be, like, even better once the uh, 4K comes. Yes, 100% show Kovacs? Okay. There will be Kovacs gameplay in uh, this mouse's review. Opinion on shawarma. Um, I think it's great, honestly. I love, uh, love gyros. Do you know anyone near you who can 3D print shit for you? Um, no, but I know plenty of people with 3D printers who would probably have no problem like, shipping something to me. But I just don't need, like, 
Anything 3D printed urgently. Why would a V-mouse when MZ1 exists? Good point. You need to make an MZ2. Come on, like, you got the one. Carry on, then. I'm sorry, DK, I see that message, but I feel like it would just give me a headache if I read it. Try to, like, reword it, maybe. Do you think it's worth it to upgrade from LGG Venus to Saturn Pro? It could be. I think the Saturn Pro is one of the best of the best, so always could be, but if you already have a Venus and you're liking it, you definitely don't need to. Is the Dragonfly a super light clone? In terms of shape, nah, you can see that it's like really not too similar. But in terms of design, yeah. LeBron or Rocket Jump Ninja? Probably RJN. You know, without LeBron, I think I'd still be reviewing mice. Without RJN, I don't know if I can say the same. Just join the stream. Which mouse are you reviewing today? I'm really just talking about whatever mice um, people want to ask about. But the main mouse, uh, the one that I'm going to be reviewing soon, is the VGN Dragonfly F1 Max Pro. It's just this crazy budget Chinese mouse. It's like under $60, 54 grams, $33.95, solid quality, solid performance. Just uh, surprising. Yo, Sprint Gaming Gear, what is going on? Agile Cables, yeah, that is what I will always know you as. Can you put chat on a five second slow mode? I really should next stream. Would be a great idea. Have you said your thoughts on the signature edition? Yeah, I mean, it's just one of my top mice. It's a go to mouse. I think it's one of the best mice on the market, but obviously it's ridiculously expensive and not worth paying for after market. Um, advice on how to compare mice. Kovacs, Aim Lab playlist? Um, I mean, I play a lot of Kovacs, but it's really just like how the mouse feels across multiple games. Even browsing, I factor in, in some cases. But yeah, I would say just a Kovacs playlist that has a variety of types of aiming will give you the best idea. EC2CW. Um, I feel like Zowie should release more of their mice and wireless. Unban me from your Discord, please. Um, I, I don't know, like, how would I do that? I don't even know your Discord tag. Any old final mice for sale? I do not know. How's your DT990 compared to the Celeste? Is it worth selling my kidney? Um, for what? The Celestes? No, I would not recommend Focal headphones. Um, DT990s are good enough. I'm going to get the 900Xs or whatever they're called, though. Do you like what the hell? Barbie Playhouse Fun Gaming Mouse. Not aware of that one. Aimlab is better? It's just not. Like, there's literally nothing Aimlab can do that will make it feel, like, as bare-bones and fluid as Kovacs does. 500? Damn, I'm out. What's 500? The Viper Mini Signature? It's me, Red Pain Sam. Oh, yes, I, I forgot. <laughs> if I saw Red Pain Sam, I would have remembered. Uh, maybe hit me up on Discord again. Maybe after the 500th message, I'll respond. HG58X goes hard? It does not. Those were my first ever, like, headphones that were better than a gaming headset, and they were actually just so shit. DT990s are, they're the way if you're looking for something cheap and solid. Aim Labs is free? Okay, but you gotta realize, I paid $10, like, five years ago for Kovacs, and I have, like, over a thousand hours in it, I believe. Like, do the math. Like, it's essentially free. Um... The Kovacs price point. It, you really shouldn't feel priced out of Kovacs, in my opinion. Ever tried Sundaras? I actually did, um, the Hi-Fi Man Sundaras. It's surprising. Like, I've tried a good amount of audio shit. I've tried multiple Focal headphones, Sennheiser, um, Hi-Fi Man, but I just, like, don't care about audio. It's very surprising, and I, I'm just able to settle on this. Chamberlain or LeBron? Dude, I'm actually a big Wilt fan. I, I wanted to say Wilt um, when I didn't have an answer for Jordan or um, LeBron, but I felt like I was going to get scrutinized, but I think Wilt's a legend. I think Kareem's underrated. What's your main game? Damn, bro, everybody's asking about game questions, and I've answered it a lot, but I guess the question is just, uh, everybody wants to know. I would say Kovacs, Fortnite, and Valorant. I thought Fortnite ranked, like, was going to have some potential. But that just flopped really hard. Cannot force myself to play that. Bill Russell OP. Yeah, if Bill Russell didn't exist, I feel like Wilt Chamberlain is the, like, undeniable GOAT. 
Don't forget to mention former Kovacs slash CS Pro. Yeah, former Kovacs Pro would be a crazy tagline. What's your Voltaic rank? I don't play, um, like, fucking benchmark scenarios. I used to be a, like, back when they were sparky, I was a master. Um, but once they became Voltaic, that became cringe. Chamberlain, one of the best players to ever grace the court. Kareem, easily close to him. You get it, man. Wired Mice is as good as wireless if you have a good cable and a bungee. I agree. FPS games are dead? I wouldn't say they're dead, but they're definitely in a bad state. Um, and it seems like the <clears throat> new ones don't take off. Have you ever played TF2? No, but if I was like, if I was PC gaming in my youth, I definitely would have. What's the crab game? Crab Champions, but that game like kind of got boring to me after a few days. You should stream some Val. Iron E-Girl streams would go hard. Honestly, that's uh, not a bad idea, because I feel like this... This is my first stream on this PC. I definitely need to try, like, a gaming stream on it. Um, see how that runs. I've kind of given up on trying to stream Fortnite. Um, but yeah. Kovacs or Valorant streams could maybe work. What do you do with all your mice? I, dude, I have a lot of mouse storage going on. It's not a situation I like to think about. Um, especially with Boardsy Fest coming up. My apartment is just, like, boxes. It's awesome. Let's see the PC. Um, I should have made a video about it. It's a... Uh, what do I even have in it? I have a 4080, uh, 5950X 3D, like 32 gigs DDR5. <laughs> Nothing else is coming to me, but yeah, it's a, it's a solid build. Do you have the 10 Spinal Mouse? I do. I have multiple, I believe. What do you think of Zero Builds? It's fun. Once again, um, that's a mode that's popular amongst e-girls. But I feel like Fortnite without builds, it's just... I don't know what to say. It just feels so wrong. It kind of feels like if you're going to play Fortnite without builds, you might as well play any other BR. But some people like it. A lot of my friends who like didn't play Fortnite, didn't keep up with building, they got back, back into it and like no builds. So I think it was a good addition. Um, 900 frames on Kovacs? Yeah, it's like... Uh, even Valorant, I average like way above 600 even while i'm like recording with replay buffer and like watching something on my second screen so definitely a good enough pc uh performance wise 50 i said i didn't say 5090 i said 5950 now which i believe is a real cpu is it zero build literally PUBG? i mean it's different um why do you have such nice stuff, but your setup isn't very good? What do you mean by that? Like, do you mean, why is my setup not clean? And I feel like you kind of answer it, because I have so much stuff. Um, I, I think my setup's nice. It gets the job done for me. You should get into ergonomic chairs now? Maybe. Chair reviews could be could go hard, but on, I just recommend used chairs. Is there money to be made in the used chair reviewing game? I feel like you got to shill with the big boys. Uh, Matthew Vasquez with five dollars. Lots of the shapes of the Atlantis Mini versus HTX and HTS. I have a bad feeling the HTX is too similar to my own minus, and the HTS is HGPX clone. Um, HTX will probably be too similar to your own minus. See, that's like a very good specific question. Um, the Atlantis Mini. I would recommend the uh, HTS if you're looking for something a bit higher profile. But if you are just looking for a small claw grip oriented mouse, go with the Atlantis Mini. Just decide if you want like a medium or a small mouse. Um, boardsy setup is actually as optimal as it gets. Yeah, I really don't get it. I'm like, this guy's saying my setup's bad. And on my head, I'm like, am I being gaslit right now? Um, chair game is played. Thank you. I appreciate the honesty. Um, why do you not mount your monitor? Because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or not because I was kind of just buying and returning monitors trying to find the end game. But I should have mounted it by now because I've known this was end game since like the moment I got it. Um, have you considered getting a 3D printer? I just don't have the fucking space right now. Um, and it just seems like a pretty big process um like bit of a learning curve i just don't even know if it's worth it for like i don't know what i would do with a 3d printer what are your thoughts on high star mouse pads they're really just s hyped up a lot from the company but they're just nothing special sadly at least i haven't tried anything special from them but popular tiktok mouse pad god bless how many mice do you have total um well over 150 i'd say um I'm just saying your setup, I know it works, but it's not aesthetic at all. Yeah, because it's just like I, I can't really do the aesthetics when I'm switching out shit as much as I do. And I feel, I don't know, just, 
It works for me. That's aesthetic enough. This mouse discussion is truly shocking. That's what I aim for. I'm happy you're uh, enjoying it. What is your mo monitor? Asus 36 years? Yeah, but the new one, the PG27 AQ on the 1440p panel. Um, that does have ULMB2, but I'm uh, experiencing issues with that right now. What are your thoughts on the Death Hour V2 Pro? Just get the V3. Like, V2 is just going to be lower quality, worse clicks. In my opinion, I like the shape less, um, but it's an option. Love your X2 Mini, by the way. Bought it as my second copy. Glad to hear that, man. Yeah, I mean, that those things are going to be worth a billion one day. Not even a million. Um, 150, please do giveaways. I mean, if you're local to NYC, the giveaway of all giveaways is happening in just over a month at Boardsy Fest. I'm going to be giving away hundreds of products in person. Um, but online giveaways, they're just kind of like, eh, especially with international winners, it's just like, it costs a lot of money to ship shit out. I have the ViewSonic 3.6 Hz. I like it so far. I didn't even know they made a 3.6 Hz panel. Um, let's say if you were a pro in the game, what's the one mouse you would use as your main? I'd have to say Death Air V2 or Death Air V3 Pro. What mouse head should I have? I use Low Sense and I have a Super Light, Artisan Zero, Artisan Hien, Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro. One of them. Thoughts on the G703 in 2023? Definitely not worth like buying new but it's an iconic shape that logitech just refuses to update basically looking for a 50 70 dollar mouse about death v 3 wired your best option no need to keep looking you, you found the best one death v2 or death v3 wired ladder is much more expensive is it worth it yeah just in terms of quality and performance totally and you're also getting 8k hertz pulling rate on the v3 versus 1k on the v2 so just objectively it's a lot better have you tried BenQ 36 Hertz Diac? No, but Optimum Tech told me a while back that um, he thinks I'll just enjoy the AQN a lot more, so I never bothered to go for it. Have you ever tried using Lethal V2 on a Skypad 3 point? Don't use glass on glass. Um, I probably did at one point just to see how it felt, but I don't have anything good to say about it. Lamzu Maya, what about it? Um, my, my eyes are on it. I hope it comes out at some point. AQN is so good. It really is. Like, I don't think I've seen anybody get it and then, like, go off of it. But it's also, I don't know, a lot of people who have the monitor. Did you see Across the Spider-Verse? I did not. Uh, but I've heard many good things about it. But, like, an animated superhero movie. Like, what am I, five years old? I don't know if I can watch that. Have you tried Super Glide V2? Yeah, I have them on, uh... The super, I have them on the uh, super light. As you can see, it's a bit more of like a matte glass compared to the original ones. And yeah, I'll have a video out on them soon. Lots on tech sources pads. I don't know shit about them. Have you tried budget VGN Dragonfly mouse that has 4K Hertz and is under $60. Yes, man. It is on my desk. You are actually looking at it right now. And I will be making a review of it um, sometime early next week. How much does your UMB2 monitor cost? Cheapest one here in Norway is 1300 Um, It's on Amazon for, I believe, $1,000 with like prime shipping. But I got it for $750 on Amazon. Because they, oh my god, let me fucking time this guy out. It's ruining my chat room, so inconsiderate. But yeah, I got mine for 750 because they, for some reason, put the price of the 240 hertz panel um, on the 360 hertz. And I just snagged it up while it was cheap, and I got a 360 hertz monitor. Um, I think someone wants you to modify your super light. He wants it bad. It's actually insane. Um... Maybe I will. Just for you, talk. You can type in 10 minutes. Stay here. Don't you worry. Um, someone asked, thoughts on tech sources pads? Again, I still don't know what those are. Do you think if there will be a, if there would be a mouse with silent switches like Kale Silent Square Switch, but better? I don't know. <laughs> it would be interesting to see a any type of mainstream-ish mouse release with silent switches, because I don't think we've seen that before. Uh, but yeah, I feel like mouse switch, like, Something with mouse switches could be innovated. I'm not sure what that is. Not sure how. Apologize for that noise if anybody hears it, but yeah. It would be cool to see that. Headphone reviews coming? I don't know. Um, 
Maybe I finally will just make one video on IEMs. Just maybe like shitting on them and then seeing how it goes from there. Because I've tried them multiple times now. What do I tell my barber to get your haircut? See, that's a hard question. I go to a Russian barber shop and I get the same guy every time. And he doesn't speak a lot of English, but he just has an idea of what he wants my hair to look like, I guess. And yeah, are you just moving your cursor in circles? I am. I always hate when people notice that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just always like playing with a mouse. Um, resin, or res yeah, I'm going to say resin, with the $10, in your opinion, what are the best mouse skates for Valorant? Yeah, the asking that question is going to cost more than the best mouse skates in Valorant. That is some food for thought. Um, but yeah, I would say Tiger Ice. You can get a set for like $7. Um, BTL skates are really good. Core pads. Like, I don't think there's a really big difference between the top echelon of mouse skates. What's wrong with IEMs? I just hate the comfort of them. I feel like they're massively um, just like overhyped right now compared to headphones. It's just weird to me. Um, but I know a lot of people are sold on IEMs right now. Corepad Air, a bit too busted. Um, you're a fan of Corepad Airs? I figured those are going to be hit or miss. I don't like you. I don't like skates. I use nothing. My mouse has zero skates. It's actually bad for LOD. Um, funny enough, mice are meant to have skates with the default thickness. Any inside scoop on when Saturn Pros will ship? I don't know anything beyond the website, which pretty sure still says they're on time. But yeah, no inside scoop. Can't e can't beat over ear open back headphones. That's what I. That's how I feel. But it seems like. In these past few years, a lot of people have started suggesting these IEMs, and they're making a killing off of it. Let me just say that. Do you have? Do we have an idea of release for x V3? No, I have no idea about Pulsar's upcoming mice. How long do core pads last on a cloth head? Really depends on use. I feel like you can get easily like four to six months out of a set, though, and you'll have like two pairs come in the box, so maybe like a year, a bit less than a year, eight months minimum for two sets. I'm fried. Glad to hear. What, what a better place. I can't think of a better place to be than my stream. Do you super glide skates for Val? Nah, definitely not like exclusively. I've tested them a bit, um, the new ones in Val, but I don't have any strong opinions one way or the other. If anything, I probably don't like them as much as PTFE. Um, what are your opinions on Glogius after they mussolini themselves? I, I don't know what's going on with Glorious. It's actually like, it's just weird. What happened with the Model I wireless? Does anybody know about that? Because that's just the dangest thing. You can get crazy good IEMs for $50, though. They're way better than any gaming headset I've owned. But have you tried, like, studio headphones? And I've tried, like, $50, $70 IEMs, and I just don't feel that way. So I don't know, like, what the issue could be. Yo, Sprint Gaming Gear. Becoming a member, joining the Epic tier. I wish there was like more functionality to that, but I, I really appreciate the uh, membership. Would you recommend core pad grips or BTL? Um, probably BTL, just because in my experience, the core pad ones, taking them off is really bad. Like they just leave residue and it takes like 20 minutes to get it off. And it's just like, I'm always like, fuck me. Why did I ever put these grips on? So would recommend BTL and uh, super grips from Pulsar. Very good. What do I have to do to get a 1v1 in what? Like Fortnite? That's the only thing I would probably ever do a 1v1 in. Ergo with the flatter right side. Um, this? The Death Air V3? <laughs> I cannot find a question to read. What? This is the craziest thing. Tiger Ice Duration? Um, it's pretty much the same as Core Pads, like in Jet. They used to be a bit thinner, but I feel like they've updated their thickness over the years, so it's probably just going to be fine, same as most PTFE. Um, did you get the new Skypad drop? Damn, you come back from the timeout and keep spamming. There is something to be said about that, um, but no, I did not get the new Skypad drop, and I don't think I'm going to. I don't need like every custom Skypad released, even though it wouldn't be a bad idea down the line. Sell my entire Skypad collection at auction for like a million bucks. How's the Dragonfly feel? It feels really good. Um, which, again, to me is surprising. At first, I thought, like, maybe it would be a bit creaky, like, have some type of flexing issues, but it feels built well, performs good, like, 
like I said, checks every box. The review of it's probably going to be very positive. Do you play Rust? Nah, that's just like not my type of game. Um, seems like Minecraft in a way. It's very like grindy, and that's just like not nah, not it for me. You can do Fortnite or a boxing match. Up to you. Fortnite boxing, like chess boxing, is the thing. Why is it Fortnite boxing? Um, any thoughts about the new upcoming Spire a Poggy mouse pad? No. Did not even know that's a thing. Oh my god, Rex is here. I believe he had just woke up from a nap. He could come up on the desk if he if he so desires. Um, any news on the updated MM720? An updated MM720? I have no idea. I didn't even know they were going to do that. Are you going to do like an 8K wireless version? Do you use arm sleeves? If so, do you have any recommendations? Nah, I don't use arm sleeves. Funny enough, I was actually like... I was working on a project last summer that was going to be like an arm sleeve release, and then I was like, this probably just isn't a great idea. And then since then, arm sleeves have absolutely fucking blown up. So you talk, now, now you're pushing it. Like, I didn't want to time you out, but if you're just going to spam W for no reason, like, what choice do I have, man? Um, saw a guy doing 3 a.m. raids in Rust on a school night to terrorize small children. That's kind of based. Hold on, I'm going to bring my dog up on my desk. As you can see, come on, get in camera range. Don't fuck up all of the mice. You know the drill. Um, he's just in an awkward spot right now. What is this sky blue pad right here? It's called the Freefall. Um, fuck, Freefall SV something. <laughs> Wait, Boardsy, I want my mouse to feel like it's floating. What to buy? What do you, What does that mean? You want, want to feel like it's floating. Like, are you, are you asking for a mouse pad? That's kind of like very low friction levels. Okay, I can't see the chat over my dog's ears. Um, I think my dog is at a barbecue right now. It's a good place to be. Show us the dog fully? I mean, it's not my fault he's not fucking walking on my desk. Wait, was he actually not walking because of the mice in his way? What a gentleman. Wow, I have raised him very well. Uh, he kind of just wants to look out the window, though dog reveal you know it can't see the chat though unfortunately thoughts on the x2 qc issues um as far as i know it seems like they had addressed some of the uh, click ones but even the x2 clear i have god he's actually moving a mouse which is like fucking up everything yeah with the x2 clear i've had a bit of creakiness which is generally what happens on any mouse with a clear shell skates your dog has i don't know wait rex show show the stream your feet Show them your paws. I don't know. Seem to be pretty fun. Um, how's the dragonfly's main buttons? They're pretty good. Um, kill 8.0s, I believe. Or kill 2.0s. The website says both. Can you make a mousepad tier list? Maybe. But nothing guaranteed because there's just so many mousepads. I don't know how I would uh, necessarily make a list. Can you make art from your old mice? What does that mean? Maybe. Maybe I'll, like, smash them up and make, like, an acrylic piece. Um, will you, would you ever consider buying the new 540 hertz monitors? Probably not. And maybe. Never say never. Maybe at one point I'll get a 500 plus hertz monitor. Thoughts on War Thunder? I really don't have any thoughts, man. Um, what rank are you in games? Uh, I'm diamond rank and Fortnite ranked, but that is a completely troll, basically. Do you use a stack for your headphones or direct into your PC? I put them into my Scarlet 2i2. I used to have a shit stack, but then that broke on me, so then I kind of just went to a lower fi audio. I just don't really care about the difference too much. Thoughts on anime? I don't watch it at all. Like, I've literally never watched a anime. Besides, like, Pokemon when I was a kid, and I don't think that counts. Um, what's preferred dog for a standing desk setup? I don't know. I mean, Rex is making a pretty good case for himself as a skipper key right now. Look at him. He's just, like, chilling there. Is that a bear on your desk? No, that's my dog. He does, does have the cadence of a bear, a fox. Gets compared to many things. Thoughts on this Freefall SV? I mean, it's a solid pad. I don't think it should really, like... Command a premium? It's a very firm pad. Oh my god, when my dog gets off it, it's gonna be a pad with a lot of fucking dog hair on it. Um, but yeah, it's just like, 
I don't know, it doesn't feel like anything crazy to me. Is the dog ergonomic? Great question, I don't know. He's very, like, deep in thought right now, looking out the window. What are your dog's earnings on Fortnite? Good question, you should ask him. Because difference going from 240 to 360. Yeah, I mean, everything just feels cleaner and clearer. It's, I mean, it's the same thing as like any higher refresh rate situation. Um, long time lurker, first time chatter. You are really based as fuck in my honest opinion. Happy to hear that, long time lurker, first time chatter. Just got my. Okay, Rex, you want to come off? Come off my desk. Okay, um, do you recommend a steam cleaner for mouse pad cleaning? Um, I, I don't know, I've seen some people do that in the past, um, but it's nothing I've ever done. I don't feel like it's necessary. I feel like it's a way to clean a mouse pad. Do you play Siege? No, I do not. Um, the main button switches are apparently a custom based on the GM 8.0. Oh, um, I got it. But mine have a really annoying high pitch metallic ping. That sucks, yeah, mine don't. But they feel like a modified, like, Kelp 8.0 version. God, you guys see all this dog hair on the mouse pad? Probably not all of it. Um, but, yeah. What a, don't let your dogs on your mouse pads if you want to keep them clean. Pro tip. Thoughts on glass pads for CS? Man, I get asked that question a lot. It's very interesting. Maybe I'll make a video on it. Like, glass pads for tax shooters. My pro opinion. Um, but yeah, I don't recommend it. I feel like cloth pads are just very tried and true. It works. Really no need to get a glass pad. I feel like it's just extra steps. It's just literally going to make it harder, if anything. Thoughts on lifespan of zero? Mine's going on three years. My original one's still holding up. I'm obviously not using it daily, but yeah, I've never had a zero like wear down on me. Have you ordered the Gilmore mouse? I have not. I saw that. I didn't know if it was like still being produced and it was for sale or what was up with it. So with big hands, you think it's worth trying a mini mouse? Um, yeah, like you said, you're a fingertip grip user. Totally. Um, can you bench 225? I actually can. What's the mouse in the middle of the thumbnail? It's the VGN Dragonfly F1 Pro Max, which is a handful, but it's a mouse nonetheless. Luckily, my dog doesn't shed hair, so it comes onto my desk all the time. Interesting. Yeah, no, skipper keys, like the breed Rexes, they just shed constantly, basically. Like, they have a few, like, seasonal sheds, but it's just constant shedding. Can you bench 405? Not quite. I mean, maybe on a good day, I can move, like, double that, but who knows. What's your height? Um, 6'1". Pretty sure, like, I don't know if I'm a little bit of 6'1", but... 6'1", 6'2", on dating apps. Um, looks like a super light, yeah. In terms of, like, the design, um, I totally see why you'd think that. Like, the fucking scroll wheel, the mouse name here, the logo. But in terms of, like, shape and feel, it's pretty different. And it's also, like, a third of the price. Well, less than half the price. The mouse is missing pro? True. Are you getting sent a ULX? Um, I believe. Final Mouse, like, messaged me, like, letting me know about them. I was like, hey, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Are you going to send me one? I didn't hear back, but just how final mouse works eventually they'll be like hey we have mice you're getting sent one i'll be like cool compared to the f1 shape and the xm2 wii shape just totally different xm2 wii is a lot wider a lot higher towards the back this is like a medium profile mouse really just couldn't be much farther from the xm2 wii i mean i guess it could if it was like ergo or some shit um Yo, Borzy, what would your advice be to someone like me who has trouble with aiming because my arm just seems to not want to track smoothly or sit comfortably? I mean, are you having, like, a sense issue? Like, some people go on way too low of a sense for them. It just doesn't work out. Could be that. Um, maybe just, like, get an artisan zero. Pick a solid sense and just keep playing until you get better. What's poppin' Jimbo? Nothing much, man. Um, just... Around an hour and 20 minutes into the stream, getting some great questions about mice. Living life to the fullest. Are you using a mouse from China like me? I am right now. And it's the main mouse I'm testing. Next mouse I'm going to review. China represent. Just got an X2 mini board. See, additional, let's go, man. Just getting it, though. Where'd you get it from? You need to sit so that you have good posture. And you also need to be high enough so that you can, so your arm can comfortably sit on your desk. Sure, it's good advice, arm guy. Any news on the new Vance device? I mean, I have them. I just, like, 
I, I don't know, I said I would review them, I just have not been testing them. They were just not enjoyable. And they were really nothing different than the standard versions I tried so long ago. They talked about God Mode. I swear they said it was going to like be functional with 2000 Hz. It just seemed like those mice were hyped up and flopped. Have you ever had friends over and then noticed any missing mice when they leave? No, lucky enough. I always do think, like, sometimes I'll have, like, my box of final mice out. It's like, who knows what could happen? Have you thought about doing arm sleeve reviews? I just don't feel like they're necessary. Like, there are some people who will feel a bit more consistent. They will enjoy, like, not having friction on their mouse pad. But, like, I just feel like most people you just don't need an arm sleeve. And I've made one review of them in the past. Show us your physique. I, I mean, at Boardsy Fest, I'll be right there in person. <laughs> Last year, some guy was freaking out about the size of my calves. He's like, man, are you fucking Buster Posey? You're a catcher for the Giants? Look at those calves. So I have a very vivid memory of that. <laughs> Boardsy Con 2023? Yeah, it's called Boardsy Fest. Why is the audio so bad? Not using the usual mic? What do you mean? Nobody has complained about the audio so far. That would be so troll, though, if I was, like, using my webcam mic the whole time. I just saw a comment saying, what is Boardsy Fest? So, here it is, in all of its glory. All of the info right here. July 8th, so just over a month out. Owls Head Park, Brooklyn, New York. Same place last year. Really an excellent location, South Brooklyn. Um, switch to webcam mic, please. I'm good. Guaranteed free products for all until I run out of products. And come out if you're local to NYC. All, all you need to know, really. And then there's this graphic, which is fucking AI art. Dozens of events, hundreds of prizes, limitless fun. Then we got Rex. It's crazy. Not gonna lie, I thought that was a mouse choir. Yeah, I don't remember what the original prompt was, but they're like in a church. That was one of the things. Stained glass was included in the prompt. Um, will there be a HEMA arena? I don't know. Words Econ at Central Park when? Never. Fuck Central Park. Um, that would just be so bad. Basically, the only options were Prospect Park, Sunset Park, or Owl's Head Park. Um, doing it in the city is just so much harder. Just, I don't even want to think about it. Um, which is why, like, when people ask about like Boardsy Fest in other locations, like around the world. Like it is so hard to set up in Brooklyn, like two miles from where I live. I can't even imagine trying to set it up elsewhere. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have to be like giving away products if I did it somewhere else. Do people even come? What do you mean by that? Last year, like 700 people came. Hold on, let me, let me find you a picture of the line. Um, fuck, where is it? Imger? Wait, no, it was in my DMs with someone. Nah, the board, Boards Econ, there was a lot of people who have popped out. Who let the dogs out? I'm pretty sure um, Amazon just rang the doorbell. Do you have ADHD? Are you asking that because of my uh, mouse movements? Probably. NYC Borough tier list. Um, Brooklyn on top. That's really all you need to know. There's no way people come to you. Well, you are just about to be proven wrong in the craziest way. Would you do keyboard reviews? I've basically reviewed every good gaming keyboard. Okay, here it is. No way people come, this guy says. Who are these people then? Um, difference between mid and X soft, just the thickness of the foam, literally. And this is a game from last year. There was ax throwing. Paid actors, yes, all of them. Look at this. The happy young Asian boy with his winnings. This guy won a goldfish. See, like, Boardsy... F that was just Boardsy Con 1. Boardsy Fest is going to be a whole, whole nother level. There's this picture of me signing a mouse box that looks like, a, uh, like an album cover. Wow, these photos are real? Yeah, man. It was, it was insane. This is... Oh, I guess this is a calf reveal for whoever was asking. Um, and yeah, you can just see there is a ton of product. Is that Faker? It might have been. Um, no pics of Mr. Boardsy himself? What do you mean? <laughs> like, are you not seeing this? This is me. Looking, uh, I, I was just looking at the wheel, probably. 
So you're paying people to come. So you're. Are you trying to say paying people to come with you? No, I'm just giving shit away. Um, where was this at? It was at Owl's Head Park. Um, so the same place it's going to be at this year. Shut up, guys. Legit photos? Nah. I mean, I know that BoardsyCon was amazing. Boardsy, why do you pay for your friends? What does that even mean? But the mid had, like, a different XY speed or just a myth? Oh, with the Hien? I, I think the it was just more noticeable on the mid. AI generated? You honestly could AI generate a pretty good crowd like that. Will there be some other RA members? If there are any Americans who want to come out, um, I don't see why not. Just bought these Alpin Z1 Pro? Is it, like, shipping out? Maybe I have to bump mech keys about that and then they'll send me one. Because I just figured they didn't have it. Do you have any creaking on your Viper Mini signature? I have a fair bit. Nah, just on the main mouse buttons, I guess. Top wire mouse for CSGO it would probably be the Death Editor V3 wired. If I come, can we have a boxing match? Probably not. I don't know if that's going to be a planned event. All these people in really good shape, dude. Damn healthiest mouse community. Yeah, I mean, I would say I was just surprised by the diversity, like all across the board. Like, there was really, like, just every type of person, all age groups, like, it was a pretty dope event. I hope this year, like, turnout is even better, because we're going to have more products. How tall are you? I am a 6'1". Do you have a GF? Not at the moment, but, uh, things can change in an instant. You only get to keep one mouse. What stays? Um, I don't know if it would be Death Air V3 Pro or Viper Mini Signature. Gotta like grab this mouse to really think about it. Um, probably Death Adder V3 Pro, realistically. Why do you love the an animal mouse so much? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? Such a chill guy, man. Keep you and you appreciate that. I I will indeed. What are the free products? I mean everything. Like literally, name a brand, and they're probably sending out products. Unless it's Logitech, Glorious, Corsair, Steel Series. Maybe like a lot of brands are sending out products though. Do you think people were just at the park and saw you, so they came up for free stuff? Yeah, um, at least. Uh, there's this one picture of, like, a Mexican family, like, just an entire family who came up. Clearly didn't know who I was, but I still spun the wheel and, like, they gave them some mouse pads. Um, but, yeah, this year I have more staff members and there's going to be YouTube subscription verification um, to get, like, while you're on the line or something. Probably not going to enforce it, but going to try to limit that this year and also limit people just getting back in line and like spinning again because yeah last year some people stole products yada yada um were there final mice there was um there were a few but there was actually just one and it was from my personal collection but i'm gonna ask final mouse if they want to sponsor it i don't know if they have any product to even send out but uh yeah i'm working with a lot of companies how are you like an sv control Base Plus so far, just got one sent out for a review. What are your thoughts? I mean, it's just really firm, as you can see. Oh, wait, shit. I'm still on a display capture. As you can see, there is basically no squishiness to it, so it's like firmer than an artist in mid. And the patches have a bit more control than I was expecting. You're only 20? I am indeed only 20. She's getting the whale as the bouncer. That would be dope. Um, I remember Bad Seeds said he was like, he would think about coming out, so I'll like hit him up to see if he can uh, make it out. Because it would be cool to have like people, like other YouTubers there. Do you see Team Secret rocking your boardsy mouse? Yeah, yeah, I actually did. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Do you still use the Artisan Raven? Basically never. It's not one of my top Artisan pads. Do you think the Atlantis Mini is good for attack FPS like CSGO? I mean, I feel like if you, if it's a good fit for your hand and you're comfortable with it, it could be good. Um, feel it's a bit too light? Maybe it's too light for you. <coughs> Are you a fan of the CSGO Pro scene? I really don't watch it too much. I'm out of water, by the way, so the stream's going to have to end soon. I'm just going to keep coughing. It's actually tragic. I've been live for over an hour and a half, though. Um, Boardsy, do you think you're famous a lot? Definitely not. Like... Famous to me would be like, whenever you go outside in public, like people are recognizing you and taking pictures of you, and that does not happen in the slightest. 
Definitely popular in the mouse scene, though. Are we a pulsar shell? No, I don't think so. Which pad do you prefer? Hayate Otsu or Zero? Definitely the Zero. Have you used the Razor Mamba ever? It's actually crazy to think about, like, my pulsar... The video where I cut the cable of the Pulsar Super Glide, the original wired mouse, and then they stopped sending me shit. And I bought their X Lite wireless, and then they started sending me shit again. It was a crazy, crazy era. I mean, look at us now. Um, Boards, you promised me if I go, I can have a free mouse pad and skates. Um, you will likely wind up like that's basically the bare minimum prize because there's going to be two Fortnite Llama pinatas again. So. Out of the pinata, like, there's going to be hundreds of sets of skates and grips, so you can usually find something from there. And uh, free mouse pad, that tends to be a prize from the main wheel. Are premium mouse pads actually worth? Like, Artisan, I would say absolutely. Um, some other shit, like X10 pad for 100, like, there are some that are wastes, but I would say generally premium mouse pads are worth it. Are you addicted to Fortnite? Definitely not. Um, I don't even know if I would say I ever was, but at this point, I'm probably playing less Fortnite than I have in a long time. How do you grip Viper Mini? I'm just unable to get used to it. I mean, I can fingertip it like this, and I can also just claw it like that. I don't know. It's a, it's like a pretty easy shape to me. There was a Super Glide mouse? Yeah. Um, it was it was a wired version of the X-Lite, and they called it the Super Glide. Um, because it had the glass skates on it, and then they just made the skates their own thing. Um, yeah. Any tips on getting hairs caught in the Zero's weave out? Um, you literally have to use, like, tweezers, I believe. What do you prefer, radiator heat or forced air? Probably forced air. It's a crazy question, though. I was not expecting that one. X Lite V3 versus Death Adder V3. Death Adder V3 just clears. The only thing X Lite V3, or well, no, X Lite V3. I don't know the price on it. Um, but yeah, it should be like a more budget version. Doesn't the Orange Zero fix the hair issue? Yeah, um, but I mean, I presume that guy has an old one if he's asking about it. Why don't most good mouse companies make mouse pad companies? I mean, presume you mean make large pads? Um, because there's no point in putting a premium base on a large pad where just so much of the pad isn't going to be used by the mouse, which is the only point of a premium base. So it's just like kind of counterintuitive. And any, I would say 99 out of the 100 times people have been like, I need a full desk pad because I play on low sense. Like, they don't actually need a full desk pad. That is that's my hot take of the day. New Zero better than old Zeros? I have my Zero X soft from like a year and a half ago. That's probably my go-to, um, but the new Orange Zero is perfectly fine. It's like, it's really just splitting hairs when you're talking about, like, the new batch of the Arson pad versus the old one. But I'd like to have my keyboard on my pad. Why can't you just get two mouse pads then? Like, just put them next to each other. Put your keyboard on the left one. Did any of your GPX start double-clicking? No. Um, what is the best mouse in the world? Um... Fight for me, Signature Edition, Death Air V3 Pro have to be up there. Um, XM2, we worth it even though it doesn't have motion sync versus the Atlantis. You really won't be able to like feel any type of massive performance difference on the sensors. If you're looking for like the end game gear build and just like everything to be exact same, I would say go for it. If you could put the zebra pattern on another mouse, what would it be? Um, I feel like it would have to be a Death Air V3. Like, somebody has to, like, mock that up. It would probably look insane with a zebra print. Use code boards and got my Jewels HSK Pro in two days. That is shocking. Um, usually you expect uh, at least two weeks for a Jewels product. What's her dinner? I, I don't know. I'm just going to go go to a cookout. So probably just typical, like, cookout barbecue food. Whole milk or 2%? Gotta be whole milk. Have you tried the EC3CW? I don't even think that exists. Um, does it? No, I'm pretty sure it's only the 2 and the 1. Try Jollibee? I should. I mean, it's in New York now. It's in the city. I've seen a few of them. I've just never gone in. Um, Faker doesn't even use his own mouse. He's still using a Death Air V2. Well, I'm using it, and that is all that matters. That's crazy, though. Viper Ultimate's still good? Not really. How do you mow a lawn in the city? Most people just don't have lawns. Um, 
Unless you're talking about the background noise, presuming that's a lawnmower, which I don't know what it is. I don't even know if you can hear the background noise. Um, XM2 Wii, the best right now for, well, I wouldn't say that, but it's definitely a great option under $100. Do you play sports? Like, I don't play team sports anymore. Obviously. Well, not obviously. I'm not playing college sports, and I don't think young adults generally play team sports. They're not doing it. Um, it does exist? Wait, what does exist? Um, I don't know what this guy's talking about. Are you going to try Zaofan Z1 Pro or Dragonfly F1 Pro by any chance? Yes, I have the Dragonfly F1 Pro Max right now. Um, so a review on that's coming soon. And the Zaofan one, whenever Mechie sends me it, yes. Yes, EC3CW exists. Oh, shit, it does? I'll have to check it out then. I actually never heard about that. Said you've, you've always been into mice, what made you start reviewing? I wouldn't say always. Um, since... I mean, always since I've had the interest in PC gaming. Like, before I even got... A PC, like, I was doing lots of mouse research for some reason, which I'm sure is, like, a lot of people in my chat now. There's a lot of PS4 players, surprisingly, but, yeah, I was just always interested. Then I got the original Model O as my second mouse, and I was like, wow, this sucks, and everybody else is saying it's good. So I basically just made a video ranting about it, um, and, yeah, from there I just started reviewing mice because I had always just, like, found them interesting. I ordered the XM2 Wii yesterday. Well, I regret it. There's really no reason you should. Do you feel 4K Hertz Bowling Mice are a future of esports gaming? Yeah, it seems like that's really starting to catch on. Like, 8K Hertz Wired, 4K Hertz Wireless. Um, lots of companies are just, like, re-updating their mice, and that's becoming a new standard. Do you have a Discord server? I do. It's in the link of... It's in the description of, like, all of my, uh, like, normal videos. Should have had it in the uh, description here. I'd get a Sora or Atlantis over XM2 Wii any day. Really? You'd get an Atlantis over the XM2 Wii? I don't know if I would. I would probably get a Sora over it, though. But it's just such a different mouse in terms of, like, weight and size. Um, should I buy an F1 Pro Max? I would wait for my review, but I would say it's definitely a good budget mouse. No doubt. Why is Logitech so lazy? Why is the sky blue, you know? Who knows? Battery life good on 4K Hertz mice? Yeah, It's not great. Um, but I would say it's serviceable. Besides g -Wolves, in which case it's, like, really shit in my experience. Korean still use Wired? Only NAEU news? What do you mean? Best modern Kinsu shape? I don't know if there's, like, a specific modern Kinsu club. Um, thoughts on Extrify M8? I really hated it. Um, I did not... I just didn't really see what there was to offer. What it had to offer. The button height gimmick sucked. It just felt small and awkward. Did Punch send you a Stormbreaker review unit? No. What's the weight of the X-Lite V3 sample? I don't know, but I believe it was low 50s. I think the for community forgot that the XM1 had no hype in general until you put it back on the map, like the original XM1. I remember when I got... Fuck, I don't know if it was the original or it was like the first XM1... No, it wasn't the XM1R. But it was like some XM1 that I tried and I was like, wow, this is the best thing since slow spread. When does boards you get into sim drifting? I don't know if that is ever going to happen. Doesn't that like require an entire new setup? Like, I just don't even have the space for that. Baseball cards have become my uh, hobby besides gaming. I don't know if I can do sim racing. Do you do headphones reviews? I, I don't. Even though I've surprisingly like... When I think about it, I have tried a lot of headphones, but I just never really cared to review them or talk about them, because they just don't interest me as much. And I feel like they don't matter for gaming nearly as much as something like a mouse, which I saw, like, Techni put a tweet out saying that, like, audio has more of an impact on gaming than mice, and I was like, wow, that's been one of the most unhinged thing I've ever read. Um, H2O, bro, H2O, I'm literally out of water. I'm on my last breaths right now. I've drank four bottles already this stream, which is generally a sign I should end streaming, but the chat messages keep coming through. Thoughts on UMB2? Um, it was nice when it worked, but then I restarted my PC, and it starts to turn off every time I tab out. I don't know what the fix is for that. Um, since you're six foot one, did you ever play basketball? Um, nah. Not on, like, a team. That's not even, like, a tall height to max out at. If I was, like, six foot one as a freshman in high school, I probably would have. If I, like, hit a huge growth spurt my, um, sophomore year of high school... Went from, like, 5'8 to 6 foot, basically. 
Saturn versus Saturn Pro worth the price increase? Watch my Saturn Pro review for the best answer, but I would say if you're looking for a premium pad, yeah, no reason not to get the Saturn Pro. Opinion on having eight super lights? You're gonna need nine when the yellow one releases. Um, I saw some guy who DM'd me that he actually like got a yellow super light. Wait, hold on. And apparently, wait, look at this shit. It comes with like a lamp. It's some weirdest shit ever. I do need nine, you're right, I'm happy that you get it. So this is like, it's not easy to get this. Is ULMB2 going to be rolled out to most other 360s? Um, I'm pretty sure it's only going to be new panels. I'm pretty sure like the few that have access right now like have the same exact panel, it's just like a different brand. I have a Stormbreaker sample coming out on Tuesday, surprised they didn't reach out to you. They might have, I might have just aired them, um, I'll check that after stream. If I was 5'10 freshman year and I'm 6 foot in senior year and never got a growth spurt, is it over for me? I mean, I think you just grew naturally. Like some people, you probably grew a lot like early in puberty. And then just had natural growth throughout high school. But yeah, I doubt you'll get another like growth spurt of like multiple inches. Yellow one is sick, I agree. Do you think Vaxxy will release outside AX? I mean, I feel like they have to release an outside AX and NPO1 wireless, but... I don't know, with Vaxi and Zowie, shit moves slow. Should I buy Lamzu Energon for TAC FPS? It wouldn't be my first recommendation, but if you want a smooth and fast pad, yeah. Aim Assist, Screer, and ULMB2? Why not both? Think about that. If you take a look at the Tryhard Oni S Wireless? No, but I don't think that's really a mouse worth reviewing. Like, I've, I haven't, like, had it in hand, but I've, like, looked at it online. Is that lamp thing a charging dock? I believe so, but I don't know why it's a lamp as well. Like, that's just funny as fuck. And there's like the acrylic Logitech logo, it's kind of crazy. Huh, but I think that is going to be all for this stream, little hour and 45 minutes of great, enriching discussion. Didn't really skip a beat. I hope you guys all enjoyed the stream. Gotta do it more often. Like, that was my first stream in over a month. Like, what am I doing? Gotta get back to streaming on a weekly basis. Next Sunday should be a setup Sunday, maybe even a weekday stream before then. Began to streaming some games, but yeah, I appreciate everybody who uh, came out. It was a wonderful, lovely, jubbly, terrific time. Have a uh, good rest of your days, everyone.